And we're back here for another Dane by Local member feature. Uh, today, really excited to talk with Judy as we uh, discuss a Grace thrift store. And Judy, thanks so much for taking time to talk to us today. Yes, thank you. All right. So this has obviously been a very interesting year and a lot of different things happening, um, but people still need items and uh, Grace is still available at a number of different locations. So tell us a little bit about the organization and the services you provide. Sure, absolutely. So a Grace Thrift Stores, we have four store locations, um, one in Janesville and then three in Madison. Um, one in particular in Madison is a store we opened just October of 2019, and that's our Grace Thrift Home Store, specializing in uh, furniture, home decor, rugs, um, art. The uh, store, other three store locations, also you can find clothing and books, um, music, um, and just regular housewares in any of the other three stores. So. Uh, like everybody else, we uh, closed our stores in March and just reopened June 1st. Um, we have um, uh, reduced our store hours, but um, are here and are busy. Uh, lots of donations. Uh, one of the things uh, lots of people did when they had time off was clean closets. And we uh, were definitely the recipients of lots of great donations and the stores are still full. So I like to tell people, if you're not a thrift shopper, now is the time to go out and explore because you can find some pretty awesome um, merchandise right now. And you and I were just talking about that too, about that experience now. I mean, it's almost um, a more easy and enjoyable experience for a lot of the customers uh, with some of the capacity limits and things like that, that they can come in and take their time and really feel comfortable in your store. Tell us about that, right. how that's going. right. So we are, um, we're taking extra steps to make sure that the, the stores are clean and, um, uh, you know, wiping off carts, wiping off service, surfaces, um, uh, making sure hand sanitizer is available like everywhere else. Um, while our stores are not large in size, we have been um, um, limiting capacities as, um, as the guidelines require and really providing even a more comfortable place for customers to shop. They don't have to feel like every aisle they go down is, is packed full of people. Um, we've also created a, um, uh, an addition to our checkout area that helps provide that six feet of distance from our um, cashiers, our staff and customers. And, um, and if somebody pays with a credit card, we have a completely contactless checkout. So people can use their credit cards um, they never pass the card to us um, and take their own receipt and wrap up their own goods. So just trying to make that, uh, continue to make that a very comfortable uh, shopping environment for, for customers and for our staff too. You mentioned the different locations that you have. Um, so one interesting thing about thrift stores, right, is that your inventory at each different store is going to be very yeah. different. So people know, you know, like they might want to go to all three locations mm -hmm. just to see what you have. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. We do. And we do have a number of customers who will cross shop. Um, yeah, you can always shop more than one thrift store and find different things. Um, yeah, I always say, unlike shopping, uh, you only go to one grocery store or one home goods store, but you'll want to take in um, any number of thrift stores. And with the different locations I'm, I'm showing now here on the screen, uh, each one has its own Facebook page, right? And Instagram. So that is, is that a way to kind of show people the updated inventory at each right, store? Right. And that is the best way to, to actually see what's in the store. Um, each store is really good about um, posting what's the latest items are in their store. The whole, um, you know, picture is worth a thousand words. Um, the other thing that um, each store has going on is weekly, we do a Thrifty Thursday promotion. Our regular customers are well aware of this and look forward to it. And uh, there's always pictures then on um, late Wednesday, first thing Thursday morning, showing people what, uh, what the promo is for the week, whether that's a, a clothing sale or a book sale, and they can get a glimpse too on what, um, what's in store for shopping on that day. And I saw that you have the holiday pop-up shop as well in the West Beltline. So tell us a little bit about that, how that's different. Right. So this, um, this is actually our second annual year of the holiday pop-up shop. Um, uh, this year is in a different location as we expected. Um, uh, we look for a, a space that's available and we'll never expect to have it in the same year 
um, in the same place more than one year in a row. And that is a, um, um, uh, has, throughout the year, we collect a, um, holiday goods at, right, at any of our regular stores and we box them up. What we discovered was the, the best time of year for, to get donations of holiday is during um, uh, cleaning out at um, garage sale season, but that's not the most optimal time to sell holiday goods. So in the fall, we um, find a space and open for um, six weeks and sell, um, and sell out of this um, store. So this year we had um, over 500 boxes of holiday items that were, um, uh, that had been boxed up. We had um, we actually had a contest on Facebook. We had over 60 Christmas trees um, uh, when the shop first opened. Uh, just two weeks left, our last day of business there will be um, November 28th. And then a lot of the merchandise from the holiday shop that seasonal um, goods will go back to our regular stores and then they will sell through that for, um, for the month of December. So something you and I talked a little bit about too, uh, just before was the need for volunteers. So obviously this, this pandemic and, and a lot of things have changed and, and made some difficulties for many places, but for you, it's, uh, you know, to hit your volunteers, probably the hardest. Right, right. So the majority of the work that's done in the thrift stores is done by volunteers. We have um, a limited um, paid staff, including a manager and a couple assistant managers. But stores, we had um, over 100 volunteers helping to run the stores. And right now, we it's less than 30% of the volunteers that have felt comfortable returning, and rightly so. No expectation that people would be willing to just jump back in um, based on um, based on their health or the health of their family, so uh, so we are looking to fill volunteer uh, positions, and uh, they are the cashier customer service position. It's really that um, on the sales floor. Like I said, we've we've set up the sales floor um, and around the cash register, so uh, volunteers can feel comfortable that there's a good space and a good distance. Um, we're um, doing our regular cleaning protocol. Um, you know, man, managing the number of customers in the store and, and really trying to make that a contactless checkout. But um, yeah, so we, um, volunteer shifts are um, a once a week commitment, a four hour shift, and um, uh, they can uh, follow the links on the website to learn more about um, applying online um, to volunteer. So that's at agrace.org. Uh, you can find out all that information, look up the thrift store there and uh, you can find out how to volunteer and how to help because we know how important that is, especially, you know, for a, a number of organizations. Um, it's been tricky with volunteers this year. We all know that the ones that have kept, mm -hmm. uh, kept volunteers going, but um, we, we know the, the steps to take to keep them safe and comfortable. And so, mm -hmm. you know, the volunteers that are still signing up, we just, uh, we still need you. We still do. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. right. Um, and just to point out too that all the proceeds um, from the um, from the thrift stores stay local, so um, uh, those proceeds go back to help a Grace um, Hospice Care and other programs. The um, the um, home store and the pop up specifically, those dollars go back to um, uh, help with our um, a Grace um, grief support services for the community. So. Um, helps keep it local. So if you give, you give and you shop and uh, you volunteer, uh, it helps in all those ways to, um, to give back to your, um, um, your locally to a grace. And Judy, how long has the thrift store been around? So the first um, thrift store location we opened on the west side in um, 2006. So um, yeah, it's been um, supporting the community for a lot of years. I see you got some great pieces behind you there. I yeah. mean, it's just, there's always, I think that's always so fun to go into a thrift store. Cause like you said, the inventory is different. You never know what you might find, what kind mm -hmm. of gems and things you might find there. Anything right. you want right. to tell us right, right now that we should check out at the store? Uh, well, here's another plug to be a volunteer um, <laughs> that we like to, and it, and it it's honestly is a good plug that when you're at the thrift stores, um, you get to see things firsthand. Sometimes you're the first one to see things come out of the back room or get it put out on the sales floor. So it's always kind of a plug for, you know, if you like to find treasures, being a thrift store can um, kind of give you a first peek at some of those treasures. So, 
And Judy, one more time, uh, the, we got the, the website. Are there other ways for people to contact you? Email, phone number, what are the best ways to reach out if people are looking to volunteer, donate? Uh, what are the best ways? Right. So um, by going to our website at agracethrift.org for any of that information. Perfect. All right, Judy, stay safe, stay well, and best of luck here with the, the finishing up the pop-up and then you know, managing throughout the rest of the holidays. We hope you, hope you uh, help people connect with some great items. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, that's Judy Purcell at a Grace, a Grace Thrift Store. We'll talk to another Dame by Local member soon for another DBL video feature.